Hi guys, this is Marvin from ShopsadaPitch.com and today we're going to test the BM800 condenser microphone. Let's get to it! Alright, first we're going to test using just my camera's microphone. Right? So, this is a test recording using my camera's microphone only. Now we're going to try to test the BM800 condenser microphone which is connected to my laptop using a USB sound card that I bought from CDR King. Okay, let's do it. This is a test recording using my BM800 condenser microphone. Again, this is a test recording using my BM800 condenser microphone. Alright, recently I made a tutorial on how to make your do-it-yourself pop filter on my blog and today we're going to test it using my BM800 condenser microphone to see if it's actually working or not. So, let's do it. Pop! 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 Now, I'm going to remove the pop filter. Pop! 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 Okay, so I just got back checking the recording of the BM800 with a pop filter and without a pop filter. So basically what I found out is that when using a pop filter, you'll be able to record a, a much clearer audio uh, rather than without the pop filter. Because when I tested it without the pop filter, um, you will actually hear the pressure coming from your mouth to your uh, microphone and the graph on my software which is Audacity will actually spike. So yeah, I guess the pop filter really works. By the way guys, just to add, I'm just using a USB sound card to power up my BM800 microphone and I'm actually not using the full potential of this microphone because the power output of my laptop is not that uh, powerful and if you want to have a more clear audio recording with this microphone, I suggest you use a phantom power to power this baby up. There you have it guys, thank you for watching and make sure to check the full article below, link in the description and um, subscribe if you like this and see you next time thank you have a great day